my goodness. I mean, these kids are doing incredible work. Listen has been doing incredible work since 1990. And, you know, the LGBTQ community has inspired me so much in my life. I should be giving them an award. I mean, well, to be honest, the t statistics right now are devastating. Um, we're moving backwards. And nine out of ten children um, are saying in school that they have been either bullied and or assaulted. Um, it's just not acceptable in the United States. This is absolutely unacceptable. And um, we know that programs like Listen with comprehensive um, programs, we know this works. Um, we know to talk about it in schools and to have comprehensive plans in place and to include these children and to talk about inclusive inclusivity and um, have anti-bullying campaigns specifically to protect the LGBTQ community. We know the results work. There's less depression and higher success rates. So um, we know these programs work. Um, we know we're experiencing a moment right now in, in, in our country where for some reason the violence is at an all-time high. So I'm here to, uh, to help support their initiative and help bring some attention to their initiative and just spread the word that kindness is the way to go. I mean, we should all be respecting each other. I I'm not exactly sure, well, that's not true. I know exactly what happened, where we went wrong. But for some reason, um, a pot, a big, a steaming hot pot of hatred has been served up in this country. And uh, the pot is being stirred uh, at every level. And uh, we're not a better country for it, I can assure you of that. She deserved in a way that women never do. And yeah, and that noise was her. <laughs> Ellen's choice to share her stark truth about equal pay, as well as the importance of knowing her wealth and owning her power, had an effect. She helped change the conversation in Hollywood about how actors are paid regardless of gender. And though she doesn't like to toot her own horn, she is not simply just the talk. She has seen injustice in the world around, it, around her, and she has challenged it head on. Ellen supports young people and education through her work with places like Baby to Baby and LifeWorks, and she's a fierce advocate for the Children's Defense Fund. She's also supported the LGBTQ plus community on numerous issues, including marriage equality and protecting trans students in schools. In a world, in where, in a world where it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the volume of darkness coming at us and do nothing, Ellen has made the fearless choice again and again to use her power, her voice, and her checkbook to create hope and make change. So yes, these are dark times, but Ellen is not interested in letting them stay this way. When faced with the darkness, Ellen did not light a single candle. Ellen has been busy lighting a bonfire. It is an honor to call her my friend. I am so proud of you, Ellen. So please join me in welcoming to her to the stage, this year's recipient of the Glisten Inspiration Award, Ellen Pompeo. The LGBTQ community has taught me so much about courage, about life, joy, celebration, and self-expression. I really feel like I should be giving all of you the award. And the painful truth is, I was sitting on set last night trying to write this speech, and I was thinking about the current state of this country, and I couldn't think of one inspiring thing to say. But what I could think of was what Bayard Rustin said, and that is that people will never fight for your freedom if you have not given evidence that you are prepared to fight for it yourself. So here we are, celebrating each other and celebrating our collective will and commitment to keep fighting, to keep loving, and to keep pushing our agenda of respect and kindness, and for the right of every child in this country to learn and to grow and to thrive in a safe and supportive environment. We do this not only because this is our responsibility to take care of one another, but we do this to honor and respect Bayard Rustin, Kyler, 
Matthew Shepard, Blaise Burstein, Michael Cosner, Anthony Avalos, London Moore, Ciara Minaj Carter, Fantasia Bell, Sasha Garden, Dejanae Stanton, and every other human being whose life has been senselessly taken because of an absence of love. We will continue to fight and we will continue to teach because these children need us as much as we need them. We will teach our children to fight hatred with kindness. We will teach them that we are each other's keepers. We must also commit to teaching our sons that it is okay to cry and that emotion and sensitivity are not a sign of weakness, but instead a sign of strength. And lastly, and most importantly, we will teach them the universal truth that love is the only thing that is truly worth fighting for. Thank you so much. Thank you.